Hey guys, I'm Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about sequential control structure. Now when the program control flow executes in a sequence, then it is known as sequential control structure. It is the most basic type of control structure and to understand the scenario, we will solve following problems. So when in a program, the program flows in a sequence, then that control structure is sequence control structure. As I told you, it's the most basic type and generally most of the simplest program have this control structure only. Now to understand it, let's see some problems that we are going to solve. Create a flowchart to show the average of three numbers. Create a flowchart to show simple interest and total amount according to principal amount, rate of interest and time duration. And create a flowchart to show area of triangle according to base and height of a triangle. Now I'm providing few hints over here. Uh, for example, to calculate the average of three numbers, we have to add them up and divide by three. To calculate simple interest, we have to multiply principal amount, rate of interest and time duration and divided by 100 and when we will add simple interest to the principal amount we will get the total amount and for calculating area of triangle the formula is half into base into height so let's proceed so this is the first flow chart for calculating average of three numbers definitely we will start we will take values in a b and c assuming them as three different variables we will add the values of a b and c divide the total sum by three and store it in av and finally show the av variable which is showing the average and of course stop the flow chart so the simplest flow chart to show the average of three numbers let's see simple interest in total amount definitely we will start we will take values in principal amount rate of interest and time duration in the variables p r and t respectively we will multiply the principal amount rate of interest and time duration divided by 100 and store the result in si variable we will add principal amount with si and store it in ta we will show si and ta that is value in the si and value in the ta variable and finally we will stop the flow chart to find the area of a triangle we will start we will take value of base and height in b and h we will multiply b and h with half and store the result in ar variable representing area we will show ar that is value of ar and finally we will stop so that's how we write a sequential control structure flow chart that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care